Hello again everyone, it is your Black Knight. And if you're even a casual viewer of this channel, you're aware of my problems with the computer freezing up while I'm trying to do almost anything. Yes, like they say in Catholic school, leave room for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> anyway, there is a lot of... Uh, well, today we're going to try and do something about that. Okay. So here we have some Furmark going here, GPU stress test. We're running the CPU burner. It's clicking along. And this is where we're at. Pretty close to, we're at 100% load. And we're, we're at 100 degrees C for the most part. It's, it, you can boil water on it. Now this is before, before I attempt to put some fresh thermal grease underneath the heat sink. So let's, uh, we'll compare this later on. And just for the fun of it, let's do the GPU stress test, see if we blow anything up. We'll... Wow! That does look stressful. Okay, let's go up here. There's some interesting numbers. That's a, running a lot cooler than the CPU. It's ticking up though. Okay, here's a thought. Let's see if we can push this until it hits like a hundred or something and then shuts down or does it stabilize out like right around here no yeah, still, still getting a degree or so every so often there's fuzziness there's motion you can didn't heat up nearly as fast as the uh, cpu did that was like immediately slammed it right to 100. But the computer doesn't lock immediately either, so it may be that, you know, yeah, the, the CPU is happy at 100, where this might not be happy at some other point. Have we hit steady state? No, no, yeah, 74, 73. That might be where it cruises at. So here we have the, the before condition of everything. As you can see, it's quite dusty. And uh, a lot of this stems from conversations I had with Pankro Jones, and I completely misspoke and said that it just had a heatsink on it. I actually have, on my previous computer just had a big honking heatsink that I was visualizing, but this one actually does have a fan on the heatsink. So I completely misspoke. Sorry to freak you out, uh, Pankro Jones. And... Uh, <laughs> That was an interesting conversation. And you know, I'll give you an idea of what I'm working with here. We've got a 4790K Intel processor here. And, you know, running at 4 gigahertz. And, you know, we can spin this around a little bit. You can see the HyperX memory that we're running, about 16 on that. And we've got a, a GeForce uh, GTX 970. And all kinds of good stuff there. Asus motherboard. And it's I got this built in 2015. And it's been running good for me. I built this. I built this for uh, Star Citizen. I was trying to build a Star Citizen rig, and of course, it's still in alpha. So seven years later, you know, that's yeah. I'm I'm I've still got my my uh, Legionnaire air spacecraft. Don't really get a chance to do much. I haven't I haven't tried that in a couple years actually because it was so bad. I was I it just wouldn't run for me. So maybe wait once we get all this fixed up, maybe we'll try some of that. You know, see some of that on the channel. First things first. The dust. We need to, we need to do something. There is, there is dust. As you can see, we have many fans, but we need to, we need to do something with dust. Okay, I've removed the top there. We're, we're gonna hose that off and just let it dry. That, that's gonna get well, not with a hose, but like in a sink, something. Yeah, but let's, let's, let's get to the spectacular part. Do do do. Okay. Let's talk about what I'm about to do here. Uh, I am an engineer. I am fully aware that spinning a plastic, probably plastic, um, fan at high revolutions is probably going to generate some static, which is not your friend. 
but I'm doing this for two reasons. I'm, I'm, I'm going ahead with the, the, uh, the leaf blower method of dusting it out, because number one, uh, I'm pressed for time, and number two, I am trying to make a video, and there is an element of spectacle involved here. So let's do some spectacle. I'm aware that there's a concern about blowing out the bearings in the fans by spinning them too fast. So I'm not trying to keep, I'm trying to keep a low, low duration on how much I'm blowing here, but we're going to have to take something here. We're just going to It ain't perfect, but it'll do. Okay, you're about to see me commit another sin here uh, regarding static uh, damage. No, no wrist strap. I don't have a wrist strap set up here, but the humidity is pretty high, and we're just going to try. And let's see. That's one pin, two pin, three pins, four pins. I, I do know the sins I'm committing. You don't have to tell me. And let's lift this off. Come on, lift. There's something still caught. It don't want to come off. Come on. Some still. This could take a little bit of wiggling. Where's the resistance coming in? From which point? Here maybe. Oh, that didn't feel good. Okay, let's, let's just to be fair here, let's take this, disconnect it from the board. And so here we have, that looks, this is really, that's flaky. That is, that's been cooked. As you can see, once upon a time, uh, there was good coverage. It was, do 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 once upon a time there was good coverage, but boy that looks that looks like it's been cooked over a matter of seven years. So yeah, there is that and there is that. So we now break out. I did do a little bit of cleaning of the fan blades here. We get a fresh paper towel. And the problem is, is that could actually be impeding any kind of uh Any kind of heat transfer that could have turned into a heat insulator. That that's actually scratching a little bit as I'm doing it just from my hand. Wow. That may that may be an issue. You see that? Wow. That's just just from my nail on the other side of the paper towel. Wow, that's pretty sensitive. Pure copper. The stuff was stuck on there. I'm trying to scrape it off. So we're just, eh. I don't think, I think the, the paste will be able to fill in those that, that much. But we'll be okay. And we'll have to be extra careful here as we do the, the rest of this. And that's not wanting to. Oh, that's big time. Okay, this is going to take a little bit. Yeah, not not creating too much, you know, static charge here. Just rubbing paper towels with nothing. The alcohol should hopefully help. Right, we're getting it off. We're getting it off.
And there you have it. And you can probably zoom in there and you can see. Upside down. <laughs> you know, Intel, blah, blah, blah. All kinds of codes and things. So now we're at that point. What I have done is I have obtained. Do do do. I have to zoom back all day. Here. Whoop. Some uh, some MX4. Whoop whoop. Some thermal compound. Arctic. Good stuff. One of the industry standards for this sort of thing. And I've watched a, a lot of uh, YouTube videos. I can't remember the name of the channel, but we're going to put it up here. like you know, Where I've gotten uh, some of the information for this. And I'll put some links in the description. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll share the info here. Because that's a much better source of information than what you're going to be getting from here. This is for entertainment, okay? Don't, uh, don't think this is like a proper expert guided instructional video this is just a guy showing you what he's doing with his computer because you've been watching a crash for like years now so what we're going to do is we're going to use the kind of the center dot method they give you in the box they do give you a little spatula which we're not going to use maybe i'll turn that into like a transformers weapon or something like that but Back in the day, I, I, I used to work on, on power supplies and stuff like that. We used to do that. We used to try and get like an even spread of the thermal grease. Because uh, all you want is a thin layer just to fill in the grooves between everything. And, you know, just so that you end up with, you know, an even connection to the heat sink. But if you do that, sometimes you end up with gaps where it's not perfectly even. You, you have to be perfect with it. Whereas, you know, experiments have shown that if you put like a big uh, a big doppel in the middle here, they, they recommend a P. I might go a little bit bigger so that I can make sure that I get full coverage. I'm not too worried about it going over the sides and they drop it into the thing because it is non-conductive. You know, we're talking, it's, it's carbon based here, nanocarbon. So we're going to go in here. This is the moment of truth. Wait, is that anything in there? Okay, a little dot of just as you're not supposed to put your fingers on it. Duh. More alcohol. Because oil is bad. Oil is a bad thing. Oil is not your friend. No finger oil stuffs. We don't want any of that. Let's get even a fresh paper towel. And do that again. We want this clean. I don't know if this is going to solve my problem, but I feel like it is a good thing to do. I feel like we're definitely doing good computer maintenance here, or I've just destroyed the computer. One of the two. We're going to find out. If this doesn't come up after I do all this, I'll be really, I'll, really, I'll be a sad person. Because then I'm basically going to be doing all this, putting all this together on, uh, well, you won't see this video for a while. You're not, it's just not going to happen. So <laughs> then until we get all that straight out, and then we'll, we'll complete it with the end of the story. So, Let's go in here, in the middle, a big old, perhaps excessive, dollop of the stuff. Still have a lot left. I have thought about messing with this. I don't know how much I want to play with that. If this solves the problem, I'm not, I don't want, you don't want to take stuff apart unless you absolutely have to. It probably needs it too. You know, the, the GT970, do I want to do that today? Let's, one thing at a time. Let's focus on one thing at a time for right now. So, we have this. I mean, I should put a little doppel on there just for the, where the scratches are. Now, we're not going to do, because you're going to end up with air bubbles. So, we orient this. Let's see, is it, can we clean this a little bit now? Maybe get into the fins here. We, we, we air blasted it, but I mean, there's still dust. No, a fine coating. Not a heavy coating, but a fine coating of dust. I'm trying just to make sure that's all good. The fins look relatively clear. Let's, let's put this together. Take that way out of the way here. That's going to plug in over there. Bring this down. Okay. 
Okay, we're lined up. Trying to get stuff to, to, to click in here. This could take a little time. It doesn't. It doesn't feel very confidence inspiring. These these particular clips going in. And you don't want to lift it up. Then we pretty much have to do it over again. Uh, they, they seem to interfere with the darn uh, case. I don't know. It's very weird. This is weird. Have I done this wrong somehow? Like, are they in the wrong orientation and therefore shouldn't be? They really can't go that far. We're definitely we use this as a screwdriver. It's interesting because they're arrow to show the opposite of your normal torque spec here. But let's try this. Game. This yeah, it's just to remove. You figure you're gonna remove it and torque it down. The last thing I want is having the fan fall off. That would be a bad thing. I really expected to a little bit more positivity here. I'm gonna try and go and get a screwdriver. Might be a little more precise than the the big hammy fist kind of thing I got going on here. That's not why is that not even a thing? Come on. I mean, there's clearly an interference problem here. To kind of get that around. This is starting to break. Okay, let's pull it back up and then put it down on the other side here. Pull all the way out. Pop it up. It won't won't turn past it. It's not like I can get it to go any further. You just you can it only goes down one way. Okay, I'm not impressed with the mounting system on this if I'm honest. Okay, this was just a lot of fiddling just to try and get them to catch just the right way. And you should do star pattern on them. I don't know that in the end result with as much fiddling as I did, whether I got a star pattern, but it's it's on there. It's on there pretty good. So let's get the get reconnected. And I had a phone call there so in the middle of all that, which when you're videoing with your phone, And that's reconnected. So, there's not too many opportunities for horrible failure here, right? I mean, we've got... Yes, we, uh, we really need like a Q-tip or something to get on in there. But we, yes, we have been pressing on a, on a circuit board. That could be bad. Uh, I could have screwed up the distribution of all this. We've kind of... I kind of thrown away the, the, uh, the wire routing on this a good bit. That should be kind of more tucked up underneath here. Then you got wire right next to your memory. I'm not sure that's a good idea. This isn't shielded. Yeah, that's not. That shouldn't be the plan, but that's how it. That's how it is. And so we always pull it up and away, so it's a little bit not right next to memory. Um. There, there's any kind of static thing could have gone on. Let's see. Does it fire up? That's the next step. Actually, next step will be to clean all this, but that's. Either here or there. Don't worry, I'm not gonna like rinse this off and then put it on the computer. We're just gonna, we're gonna leave this dry here and I'll put the, the top back on later on. You don't, you, we don't need that for it to run. We, we're, we're just gonna move from there. Okay, let's see what happens.
Okay, well, you got lights. It seems like it's doing things. We have an operating system. It, it, it's still doing basic things. Okay, so I didn't really do this before, but the basic resting temps look okay. They don't like anything. It's not like suddenly at 90 just from being turned on. Now let's pull up the firm mark. And CPU burner start. Okay, I'm, we're going to run this for a little while here because that one got to 82. Not, it's, it's, it's still lower than it was. Let's see. Will it get itself to 100 after a while? Now, core 1's at 88. It seems to have stabilized about 10 degrees cooler. I'm sure if you run at flat out max forever, I mean, eventually temperatures will go up. I mean, it's going to, you know, there is some thermodynamics involved here. I mean, this is 100% load on everything. And it's still definitely cooler. It was right to 100 before. I'm going to say we improve things. Now, will it matter? That's harder to say. Okay. Just sold off, you know, the nightclub here. Just to, to have something to do. And let's look here for a second. Gonna minimize that. Get out of the way. So... Our max got to 84 overall. So that's probably a good 16 degrees less than normal. Let, let's see if we continue to do some testing. Oh, is it recording? Yeah, it's recording. I'm not sure what I'm recording when I'm not. So we're going to have to see what gets lost here. Post. We're just going to do a, a test run here. Confirm settings, play. And again, because I'm not sure what I got and what I didn't get, we're going to do a little bit of a summary here. Maybe let's cut the other stuff out. Let's, let's cut the other stuff out. That wasn't spectacularly interesting anyway. Give me the goat. But... Well, what has been happening here is I've done a couple biker club cell missions. Few dropped frames, no real no real major issues. Temperature looks like it's holding in the 70s for the most part, and the max is at 89. So the effort has definitely done some positive stuff. Now have I fixed it? Will will the game still crash? I don't know. I mean, I might still need to put a power supply in this thing. I might still need a hard drive. I mean, there's a lot of different things. Maybe I didn't squish down the grease enough. I mean, there's there's all kinds of different possibilities. But we're going to see if anything can, can drive it up here. I'd like to be nice if I had like 16 other people doing this. But let's just see if we could just feed it a lot of high-speed graphical data. And have it hold. Because once we get into these tubes, this GTO, the, bu the, the bumps start to really send it into orbit as far as top speeds go. Wow, that's, that was a nice bump. He's it, still a bouncy boy. That's it. That's a thing. But hey, we're, we're testing the graphics. That's what we're mainly doing. Now, can okay, just render a really raggedy GTO at high speeds? It's 
all intentional. That's all intentional. That's... Once again, hard to find anybody racing. I did try a couple other times. This was just, again, you're recording, you're not recording, I don't know what I got. So I figured, hey, a lot of that might not have been spectacularly interesting. Let's just restate some things. And I've been playing for a while. It's not hitting 100 like it used to. So hopefully everything you've seen in this video has been for the good. I think it needed to be done whether it solves the problem or not. And... If down the road I need to put a power supply in or, or some other component, well, so be it. We'll deal with that then. But for right now, I'm highly encouraged that, you know, we finally, finally, you know, put enough raid in this thing that we've killed the bugs. Let's, let's see how it goes. Let's see, what did we add here? Yeah, I mean, we hit 86 there, but was it still the max is not, yeah, our max is still 89. We're not getting into the 90s, even with doing stunt racing, while recording. I think, I think we're at least improved. We might be in good shape. We'll see what things happen. I can't, I can't even talk. We'll see how things work out down the road, ladies and gentlemen. And on that note, I think this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Stupendous, colossal, tremendous, gigantic, astounding, unbelievable, spectacular, phenomenal! And it's good, too!